Hey guys, Dave here from Enerdrive. Well, it's possibly the worst kept secret at Enerdrive. The Enerdrive E-Lite Lithium Battery, 100 amp hour. This is a new product to the Enerdrive range. And uh, I've got Kane here. Kane heads up our product and design team. Kane has been instrumental in the introduction of all of our lithium batteries here at Enerdrive. And who better to talk to than Kane to get a little bit more information on this particular product. So Kane, what can you tell me about it? Clearly I can see it's 100 amp rated, it's a lithium battery, it's an Enerdrive battery, but what do we need to know about this battery? What? Thanks Dave. Uh, one of the first things to notice, this one's not called our BTEC. So our BTEC it stands for our Bluetooth technology that's in there, that runs with the app on your phone. Uh, this one we haven't put any battery monitoring inside, because we find a lot of people still like running your traditional battery monitor. So effectively, if they're not using the BTEC battery monitor, the app that's available on your phone that works with the BTEC batteries, I presume you're referring to either Cymarine monitoring or the ePro monitor, like this device here. Yeah, that's correct, Dave. Okay, excellent. So, aside from that, I noticed there's no screws across the top of the lid on this battery. Now, the BTEC batteries have screws. What's that about? So, the BTEC uh, does have a removable lid. We've done special casing for that. Um, so we can service the, the BMS or the cells if needed down the track. Uh -huh. um, but this one, we've gone for a sealed, it's ultrasonic welded around the top. And effectively, given the price point, this is a, certainly a cheaper proposition in terms of purchasing the battery. And it's, it's comparable with what else is out there in the marketplace today. There's no question about it. I think it's good value for money. Yeah, and uh, build quality, even though it is cheaper, the build quality is still the same as our BTEC batteries. Um, we've still got the quality cells in there, quality BMS, still rated, can deliver the same amount of power as what our BTEC does. But the main features is it's not serviceable and we don't have the battery monitoring app built into the battery. So did I hear that right? This is effectively the same as the BTEC range, less the battery monitor. So internally, same good quality cells, um, same BMS, less the chip for the Bluetooth monitoring. Correct, so we've still got 100 amps of lithium cells in there at 12 volts uh, and can still deliver the same amount of power, same protection as what the Bluetooth battery does, uh, just without the monitoring and without the serviceable case. That's unreal. Guys, I can't stress enough the importance of that. I've seen inside of many, many different batteries, different lithium batteries, and I assure you, you're not comparing pairs and pairs. There's many different types of lithium batteries in terms of quality, uh, and it's uh, in some cases, uh, darn right terrible. I've seen batteries that are just jam-packed, full of SPAC and the equivalent of what I'd call no more gaps, trying to hold those cells together. I've seen boards where there's melted connections on the cables, boards where wires are starting to perish through the corners of the batteries because they're not properly sheathed and protected. Uh, it's quite, quite scary actually. And I can say quite conf confidently that the Enerdrive range of lithium batteries with internal BMSs are built to a standard. They're expected to last. And uh, now that we're able to deliver a product like this and realistic, realistically only compromising on the monitoring feature, I think it's gonna be a great product. I think it's gonna be really well received. Uh, okay. okay, so what we've done is we've recorded the discharge and charge cycle on this 100 amp battery. Uh, we ran a 1040 watt load which came up to around that 80 to 90 amps load throughout the test so you can see that along here we've got the current line which is around that 80 90 amps there um, so what we did is we ran this load uh, we've got our state of charge here so we've started off at 100 percent uh, right down to zero um, and as you can see here this is our amp hours removed out of the battery. Uh, we started up with full and we, by the end of the test when the inverter cut out, we actually were at 101.5 uh, amps removed out of the battery and that was running at that 80 to 90 amps continuous which is something you wouldn't normally do but we just like running things to the max. We sort of go beyond what you would normally do in a typical setup. Um, or typical load, normally you would have your fridges, your loads, um, lights running uh, on and off, cycling on and off, but we do want to show what the batteries and the cells and also prove that even running those bigger loads that you still will get the full 100 amps out of our battery. 
Uh, Kane, this is really exciting news. Uh, it's fantastic. It is, and as we found with a lot of people with light loads um, that don't need the big demands of a big inverter, uh, you can run two of these. When you ran two of the BTEX, you did have monitoring in each battery that you had to, to look at to see. Uh, with a traditional battery monitor, if you put two of these together, um, you're going to see the combined output through that single battery monitor. So no need for the battery monitor inside the battery. That is awesome. And just to confirm, they're rated to 100 amps. So we can run a 1000 watt inverter off one of these batteries. If you put two in parallel, we can still run that 1000 watt inverter quite comfortably. Correct. As long as your loads don't exceed, what we normally say is don't exceed what one BMS can handle, uh, you're perfectly fine. So up to that 100 amp load that we can run, 1000 watt inverters around that 80 to 90 amps. Um, so perfect, even if you had two batteries. Thank you, Kane, that's awesome. So there you have it, guys. This is the new Anadrive E-Lite Lithium battery. Now, stay tuned. This product is not yet available. Third week in September, get your orders in now. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to start sharing a whole heap of information on this battery, in particular with regards to what other bundles are available. So for instance, Kane here has the RV80 board which consists of the 40 amp AC charger and our 40 plus DC to DC, combined with the monitor that Kane was referring to. So this is the shunt for the monitor in question. And we have many different boards just like this, which will be available at special prices when purchased with the Anadrive E-Lite Lithium 100 amp battery. Likewise, just as a teaser, this product here will also be available as a package. And this is the Explorer range. So stay tuned, over the next couple of weeks we're going to share heaps of information regarding a whole heap of different options. Thanks for listening guys, cheers. Thank you Kane, that's really no, exciting news. Thanks for news. having me Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.